Good morning. I just dropped Andrew off at work and I grabbed a few things from the farm store. I bought this, mm, what is it? Mango juice blend. Mango juice blend. Because I was feeling really thirsty and I really wanted mango for whatever reason. So I just got that little mango juice there and it's super, super delicious. And I thought I would let you know that I'm breaking my fast with this mango juice. And I, we just did a whole bunch of work today. We uh, shoveled the driveway, which we don't often do, but Andrew got the snowblower to work, so that was really awesome. And it took way less time, but we were a little bit late because we did lose track of time a little bit because we were doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna head home now, probably to my in-laws, wash some things, and get ready for the day, uh, get our house ready because we're leaving for Vermont tomorrow for my birthday, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I'm feeling really good. Before I'm eating this, I did have a mango juice. I had 32 ounces of mango juice and it was really, really delicious. So I'm, that was really awesome. And now I, I think I'm gonna make myself a salad like I did yesterday with the tomatoes and things like that because that sounds really good to me. And yeah, that's it. I will keep you posted about that, but I just wanted to let you know that's what I have done so far today. And I've been pretty busy. I'm going to be going to a chiropractic appointment soon though. I will be going, I have an appointment at four o'clock, so I'll start heading there probably around 3.15 because of the snow. Just wanna make sure I get there with enough time and don't feel rushed and I don't wanna miss my appointment, so. So I made myself a little salad here. My hair's looking crazy, anyway. Made myself the salad kind of like I made yesterday. It has the pea shoots, tomato, and I did put a little bit of Florida avocado in there. Um, you know the bigger ones. They're not the it's not the Haas avocado. So I'm gonna enjoy this. And I put lime juice and some apple cider vinegar and a little bit of black pepper. So I'm excited. I'm so grateful. That was incredible, super, super good. I'm feeling really good right now and satiated. So now, it's time to wash some dishes. Okay, so I just had my chiropractic appointment and I'm very hungry. So I cut open the papaya. It's pretty good, I took a few bites already because I was concerned. It's like not stopped, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna taste good. But it's okay, so I'm gonna eat it. It's not like my favorite. I'm just like wanting something more like substantial. So I don't know. And I'm gonna enjoy it. I just thought I'd let you know. I'm eating this half. There's the other half in the, in the kitchen. So I'm adding that to the list today. So. All right, so I finished my papaya and I'm still feeling hungry. But I don't know if it's like hunger or boredom. Because I often eat when I'm bored. So I'm just gonna let the papaya settle and sit and see how I feel after, I don't know, half an hour or so? An hour? Probably an hour actually, I'll probably read or something. But I'm just, I don't know, I'm just like, Ugh! All I wanna do is eat potatoes, really. That's really, really what it is. And I feel not satiated with eating the fruit. And that's okay, that's where I am right now, and I'm totally accepting of that. At least I'm working to be very accepting of that, but I'm just having a really difficult time because I just, I don't know. I feel like while this fast was really wonderful for me and I've learned a lot and it really put me at ease with a lot of things, bringing food back into my life has been very difficult because there's a certain way I had thought I was going to eat and then after breaking it, I was like, oh, Maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to continue fasting, which honestly is really not what I want to do. I don't really want to continue fasting forever. I really appreciate what the fast has given me in far, as, 
as far as clarity and peace of mind and comfort within my body. However, I really want to incorporate more exercising into my routine and not just yoga. Not, I'm not saying that you can't fast and, you know, ex you can't, like I'm not, I've asked this question and you can exercise while fasting, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm not sure what the happy medium is with that right now because yesterday I did a workout and I didn't do the full workout. I was just kind of running through it to see how the movements go and to get my form correct and to become more familiar with the movements. And today I'm just feeling so hungry. And I'm not sure if it's because I did the exercise or, you know, I really don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I dropped Andrew off at work and I was like, wow, I'm really hungry right now. So I grabbed the mango juice um, at his job and I bought that and I drank that. Then I felt fine for a little while, but then I got really hungry again. About, I, won, I drank the mango juice around like 11.30, right? And then I was like, I'm pretty hungry again. I went, I went to my in-laws, I did some laundry and things like that, hung out with my sister, both of my sister-in-laws and my, one of my sister-in-law's boyfriend and my uh, grandfather, well, Andrew's grandfather, who happens to be my grandfather, I guess, now, because we're married. Anyway, whatever. So I hung out there for a little bit, and then it was like 2.30, I got really hungry again. It was like 2, 2.30. So I came home, made that delicious salad, it was amazing. And then, that was around 2.30. And then I went to my chiropractic appointment and I came home and I was really hungry again. And then that was around 4.30. So not really sure what that's about because when I was fasting I didn't feel hunger at all. So I mean if I did feel hunger then I was like oh I haven't, I didn't drink enough today you know. and. I drank my grape juice, but I'm just feeling really hungry still. And I just ate the papaya. I mean, the papaya, granted, wasn't the best one I've ever had. The be hands down, the best papaya I've ever had was in Costa Rica. Like, the papaya here is really not that good. Actually, no, it's also at the Woodstock Food Festival. Uh, Martha's Best papayas are really, really good. They're sh I think they're called strawberry papayas. They're smaller, and they're, they're really, really, really delicious. But as far as the bigger ones, I haven't had a good one in the States. When we went to Costa Rica, we would go to, we were living in Manuel Antonio, and we would go to the Capos Market, and this, this guy, Warren, and his wife, Joanna, they had the best papaya, the best papaya. And it was just creamy and delicious, and they were big, and they were just so good. And I just can't, seem to find one here in the States. So I really do need to either order from Martha's Best or something because right now it's not really working. And I just really wanted a papaya because I wanted something more creamy and filling. That's why I think I was so into the durian the other day where I ate like, I was gonna eat just a little bit of it, but I ended up eating the whole thing, it was a really big one. And then yesterday I had a durian, it was much smaller, but it was, it was not good. It was not a very good one. So, yeah, I'm just feeling really hungry and I'm just wondering, because I haven't felt like this hunger since breaking the fast. And I wonder if maybe part of it is because I did that exercise yesterday. And I wasn't like pushing it, pushing it, I was just, you know, going through the, the movements and I was taking my time, making sure my form was correct. And I don't know, maybe that, I don't know, but I'm feeling hungry. Like I'm still feeling hungry and it's like, kind of like up here, like in this hollow bit. So I know it's not like, I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't think it's because I'm bored, honestly. So I'm not really sure what to do right now because I really feel like if I had potatoes or something like that, I would feel pretty full pretty quickly. But I don't, 
think I'm ready to eat that yet. It's like the I think third day since I broke the nine day fast. And I also haven't had a bowel movement today. However, I did have two yesterday and two the day before. But I did drink prune juice both days. So that might have helped push things along uh, a little bit easier. Today I didn't have any prune juice, so I'm not really sure if I will have a bowel movement and you know, that's something that I need to keep track of, for sure. Because if my bowels aren't moving, then, then everything is stagnant and that is not good. We want the intestines and everything to keep moving. Keep moving out. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, so I don't really know what to do. So I'm just gonna go upstairs in our loft because we don't really have a second floor. I mean, we have a second floor, but not really a second floor. It's just a loft. And I think I'm gonna read for a little bit and then I'm gonna start getting Andrew's tinctures ready because he is actually on his 20, uh, 20th day today, which is wonderful, great. Like yeah, he's halfway through his fast of 40 days, which is awesome. So yes, I'm gonna go and read some of Proteinaholic. Yeah, and that's the plan. Also, I just want to make a comment because uh, I'm just feeling like so frustrated with myself because I am wanting to follow the protocol really, really well. And I know that people who do this master fast system, they like really thrive doing the fasting and they heal a lot of things. And yes, I would like to do that. But at the same time, I'm not there yet. And I want to be okay with myself about that. And that's what I'm having a that's why I'm having a difficult time because I'm not there yet I'm really really not I'm not in that place where that's the lifestyle I want to live and that's what I've been having a difficult time admitting to myself like literally what I want to do like I was my plan I guess originally was to do the fast and just get the 180 108 days done and then I would figure out what is it that I really want to eat. And the more I read the, of things, it's pretty much a whole, whole foods, plant-based diet. That's what I want to eat. So I'm don't, I'm not discriminating against potatoes or rice or legumes. Uh, I don't even know. I don't know about grains. I'm not sure how I feel about eating wheat and things like that. But I also know that according to the master fast system that these things are very mucus forming and i did excrete a lot of mucus doing this fast which is great but at the same time i still really 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 want to eat these things and that's something i think that i need to go through until i get to the point where i don't feel like i need them anymore in my life i feel like i don't know i feel like i i may be missing out or something i don't know i've always had this feeling where I'm not sure what to do, what to eat. And when I was growing up, we didn't really have all that much food around. And I think that that's something that is difficult for me. And that's something that I'm struggling with. And that's something that I'm working through. And anyway, my point of this was that for me, I was planning to do the 108 days and then kind of reintroduce food slowly into my diet and into my body and what I really want to do is exercise and work out and have a very strong healthy body like I really want to be able to do pull-ups and push-ups and I want to be able to do handstands and a whole bunch of like things like that and right now I'm not able to because I don't have the, the muscles yet which is great but then for me I get concerned because I want to build those muscles, but then it's like fasting or eating. Like, I don't, I don't really know what to do with that. I just feel like with the eating, it'll help me have a little, well, I don't know. Cause it's weird because when I was fasting, I had a lot of energy. However, I was not exercising to the point where I would like to incorporate it into my life. I was doing a little bit of rebounding here, a little bit of stretching, I was going for walks. But like, I mean, I really wanna work out and use kettlebells and do squats and do handstand things. And 
these are things like I want to do. I'm not saying that I want to do this for five hours every day. I think that's ridiculous. I think that people who work out five, six days a week for, you know, three hours at a time, that's a lot of time. And I don't want to dedicate that much time. Like for me, that's a lot of time. I mean, if that works for you, then go ahead and do that. But I want to do other things besides just working out for three hours. Like I don't really want to do that. I want to work out for like an hour, maybe a day, you know? And that's, that would be my workout for the day, just to do like an hour or so. But it, a nice, good workout with a proper warm up, with stretches, with, you know, all the good stuff. So anyway, when I had originally thought of doing this cleanse, this fast, that's what the plan was for me. And, you know, after, doing the fast now I'm feeling a little conflicted because I know from the information and the guidance that people have got given doing the fast they don't really go back to eating food you know I mean they eat like a lot of people eat fruits and vegetables and things like that but I really want to eat like brown rice with maybe some tahini on it and broccoli so but it's also like I don't really want to eat those fake meats and cheeses either like I really just want to eat brown rice with lemon juice and like tahini on it and steamed broccoli and steamed carrots maybe or some brown rice noodles and have like a pad thai or something you know these are things that I would like to eat and I'm just feeling really conflicted because it's difficult for me to admit that to myself because then I feel like I'm not doing the fast correctly and what was the point of me doing it because I really also don't want to go back to where I was I didn't feel very good I didn't feel very happy I wasn't okay with my body I wasn't okay with so many things and that's a concern that I have and that's something that I'm really working through and that's where I am right now it's not very easy so anyway yeah I also really want to eat some yuca I love yuca I don't know I know people maybe watch may watch this and be like, oh my gosh, you probably have orthorexia or all this other stuff or whatever it is. And maybe you're right. I don't know, but I'm not going to label anything. And this is just something that I have to work through in my life. This is a struggle that I've been struggling with since I was a kid. Food in general, my relationship with food has been a very difficult one. And I've always loved food, loved eating food, always, 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 always loved eating food. Like I really, when I was a kid, my dad and I would go to Burritoville. It doesn't exist anymore, but it was this restaurant in New York City. And we would get these huge burritos. They were like this big and like this wide. They were so delicious. And they were like unlimited tortilla chips. And I would just eat one by myself. Like I could eat a whole one by myself. and. My mom would make a comment and say like, oh, John, how could you le let her eat that much or things like that. And so that's kind of when I started thinking more about food and, you know, not having the best relationship with food. But I've never not eaten food. I haven't had, like I never was bulimic or anorexic because I loved food too much and the idea of making myself regurgitate the food it was not appealing to me. <laughs> so I'd rather have been unhappy and slightly overweight than do that. Even though, you know, anyway, not the point. I don't know if I'll put that in there, but... But anyway, so that's something that I'm struggling with right now. And I just, I need to wait a few, like a little longer, I think, before I will start eating some cooked foods. It's just difficult for me because I broke the fast, the 108 day fast, and I was doing really, really well breaking the fast correctly. And then I did the 90 day fast, 
and it's been so difficult for me to break it correctly or correctly you know according to what they say this time i i don't understand like why it's so difficult but it really is for me like i you know you're supposed to just do fruit for a whole week and i just don't want fruit like i don't want to eat sweet things right now all i want to do is eat more savory flavored things so that's been so difficult for me and i know tomatoes are a fruit tomatoes are a fruit avocados are a fruit but and lettuce is not fruit obviously but i really just want like lettuce with tomatoes and peppers <laughs> anyway i'm just having a lot of difficulty right now in my life but it's only because I'm choosing to make it difficult though, instead of just accepting where I am. And that's another thing that I'm working on because it has to do with all this mental health stuff. You know, it's like, if I'm just like accepting of myself and just not so difficult or hard on myself, like this wouldn't be so, such a huge deal. It wouldn't be such a huge deal. And you know, it's so funny because Andrew, he's just like, okay, I don't understand why this is so hard. Because he has like no ha food hangups whatsoever. He just eats when he's hungry, stops when he's full. He does his best to eat as much whole plant, whole food plants based. You know, I mean, obviously sometimes we don't eat things that are completely whole, whole food. Like we sometimes eat some processed things. I mean, we always we we don't eat any animal products though. Like that's something we don't ever cross the line for that. But you know, it's like sometimes we eat something that's a little bit more processed. I don't know, we'll see. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm still really hungry actually. So I'm gonna go read my book now and see if I can become a little bit enlightened. And I'll keep you posted. But tomorrow I'm really, 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 really excited because we leave for Vermont. We're gonna go to Vermont for my birthday. My 30th birthday. And I'm really excited, so we're gonna leave for, we leave tomorrow, we'll probably leave in the morning sometime. We rent an Airbnb, and uh, the check-in is, I think at three. But I have a feeling we'll leave earlier to just hang like hang out and like, check out this, this town and the situation, and you know, it's gonna be, I'm so excited, it's, I'm really excited. And I just can't wait to just spend some time with Andrew because I don't think we're going to really do anything crazy or special or anything like that. I think that it's really a great opportunity for us to have time together where we can do things that we would like to do that we haven't had or made the time to do. So I'm excited because I think we'll be able to work on YouTube videos more so and Andrew could be there with me and help me and maybe we can work on our logo. That's something that we're really we're working on and we haven't quite figured it out yet. And once we have that up, we can put it on our website, work on our website. We can do so many things, I'm so excited. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go read now. Put some 432 music on so maybe they can relax me and read. And then, yeah, that's the plan. I might eat something later on, I'm not gonna lie. I might make some lettuce tacos for myself. Yeah, I think I might do that because that sounds amazing to me right now. Oh, amazing. Like, I really want to do tomato with mango and red onion and some lime juice and some cilantro in a romaine heart. That's really what I want, a few of those. So we'll see, but I'll keep you posted either way. <laughs> hey, so I did sit and not eat for a little while, but I'm still hungry, so I decided to make myself a salad. So I have some red leaf lettuce in here, tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes, different color cherry tomatoes, and mango. And I'm gonna probably eat just the pit on its own. I'm gonna put some lime juice on top and some apple cider vinegar, and I'm still gonna cut a few red onions. And I'm just gonna eat that because that's what I really, really wanna eat right now. So I'm just gonna listen to my body and I mean, I do really want to eat yucca with this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go that far. I'm just going to stick with the raw fruits and vegetables right now. But I just, this looks amazing to me right now, and I'm really excited to eat this. So I just thought I would let you know that's what I decided to do. I did sit with it for a while because when I made it the earlier 
video that I put together. I, it was probably around 5 o'clock, 5.30, and now it's about 7.30. So I did sit for a few hours and I am still hungry. So I'm gonna honor myself and do that. So thanks for watching. That salad was amazing, wonderful, delicious. It was just what I wanted. It was like, it satisfied all of my needs that I was having, because it was sweet, it was like salt, it was like salty, I didn't put any salt in it, it's just like the tomatoes were salty, and the lettuce, like it was just like savory and sweet, and then a hint of like, um, kind of spiciness, because of the red onion. Oh, it was so, 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 so good. I did put some black pepper on the top too, so that might have helped with the spiciness, but definitely the red pepper, the red onion, was just like, you know, kind of hot, but it, it was really, really, really good. I'm so glad that I made that decision to eat it, because now I feel like totally settled, satisfied, grounded, and like satiated, which I hadn't been feeling for the past few days. I haven't really felt like, oh, wow, I'm, I feel good. Yeah, you know, it, I hadn't felt that way at all. So. Anyway, I'm so glad that I made that salad and ate it and was mindful about my eating. I did the best that I could to take my time to chew everything. I did eat it, a, well, it actually took me like 40 minutes to eat it. So 45 minutes or so to eat the whole salad. It was a really big salad, but, cause I think I probably started eating it at like a quarter to eight maybe or so, and it's like 8.22, so. Maybe like eight, I don't know. It's like, it was around like 7.30, 7.45 I started eating. Now it's almost 8.30, so. Anyway, that was delicious. I'm just gonna relax a little bit. Maybe read some, and yeah. Then I'm gonna go to bed, I think. That's all I'm gonna eat today, I think. That's plenty. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it either, you can give it a thumbs down. That's cool too. Feedback is great, either way. Uh, and also, if you like to know when the next video is coming up or when we post another video, just hit the subscribe button below. That way you'll know. And also, just comment if you have any questions or comments or useful information, things like that. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, have, well, I hope you enjoyed this though. And I also hope you have a marvelous evening and night and See you tomorrow. All right.